for hyper local breaking news coverage in Philadelphia, South Jersey, Delaware, and the Lehigh Valley. Watch CBSN Philly. It's free. It's easy. It's Philly. Streaming on CBSPhilly.com and your. Hello, everyone. Really good to see you. I'm Anne Marie Green alongside Vladimir Dutier. Uh, hey, happy Monday. Vlad, you, it looks like you had a pretty good weekend. You were like out and about, at least based on your Instagram feed. There's a, <laughs> a lot of good eating, good New York eating. There was a lot of good New York eating. I got together with some colleagues from CBS News on Friday night that I hadn't seen in over 15 months that lived in sort of my neighborhood on the Upper West Side of New York. That was cool. Um, then we had brunch for the first time at an actual restaurant. Outdoors, of course, but mm -hmm. with uh, a close friend of, of mine uh, and Marion's. That was very fun. Um, yeah, so it was it was one of those weekends. Oh, and then I saw Weijia Jang, CBS News senior White mm -hmm. House correspondent. Weijia Jang was in town doing a story, and we had lunch. And Weijia and I hadn't seen each other in person for almost you know 15 months, more than almost two years. Um, and it's just one of those things, Emory. I think a lot of people are going to be having moments like this when Weijia and I sat down. Um, at the restaurant together and just started chatting. And I posted this on my Instagram. We like chatted about everything under the sun, which is the relationship that we've always had for a long time. But it was just so nice to slip back into some sense of normalcy with a close friend, share mm. a nice meal, have some laughs. Um, it, it just felt it felt really nice. And I'm happy that so many of us mm -hmm. here are going to be able to do that as we uh, get closer and closer to uh, the official start of summer, even though we, of course, think about those in other countries that are not able to do that, but it, it really felt great. Yeah, 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 definitely. Uh, speaking of official start of summer, it felt like we were living out at, at the equator. Uh, well, you were at the beach. I saw your Instagram. Northeast. You were at the beach making sandcastles. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do. I and go, I got to say, if I, have I know we have to get to the news, but wait, can mm -hmm. I just say one thing about your sandcastles? Just, they were really, like, you put a lot of work into them, Amber. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is not just dumping hey, a the shape of the of the um, pail. You had designs and all sorts of crazy things going on. <laughs> Listen, if I'm going to be building fine, fine beachfront property, it's going to be, you know, it's going to get top dollar. That's right. So, that's right. Yeah. Speaking of top and dollar, that's what we did. let's talk yeah. about uh, President Biden and the administration and what they're focusing on. Uh, Americans for Policy is in the global spotlight today as the president and the vice president, Kamala Harris, makes some several, uh, make several high profile trips around the world. The vice president is visiting Guatemala today before traveling to Mexico on her first overseas trip since taking office. She's focusing on the root cause of migration at the southern U.S. border, like poverty, corruption, and violence. This comes as President Biden heads to Britain later this week for the G7 summit ahead of an expected showdown with Russia's Vladimir Putin that will take place in Geneva. They are set to clash over major issues like cyber attacks, Ukraine, and Alexei Navalny. However, back here in the U.S., President Biden's domestic agenda is now facing even more hurdles, especially when it comes to voting rights. Yesterday, Democratic Senator Joe Manchin reiterated his support for the filibuster while vowing to block a sweeping election reform bill, even as many GOP-led states push for restrictive voter laws. The bottom line is the fundamental purpose of, 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 of our democracy is the freedom of our elections. If we can't come to agreement on that, God help us, John. And someone's got to fight for this. And we've got to say, listen, the divided country that we're in today, the insurrection that we saw January the 6th, if we don't try to heal that, if we don't make every effort and go beyond the call of duty, then what are we and who are we? We've been known to go around the world and promote democracy and observe other elections. What kind of credibility do you think we have in doing that today? So I want to fight for this. And I think the Republicans will fight for this and understand we must come together on a voting rights bill in a bipartisan way. All right, for more on this, let us bring in Weijia Jang. She is joining us now from the White House. Good to see you back in D.C., friend. Uh, so, 